But this little oops, the printable lathe is mm -hmm. every single part fits within that build envelope. Wow. Um, I designed this uh, before I even had a printer. <laughs> Just I had to learn 3D modeling to get into this hobby, and uh, this is how I taught myself. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so uh, that's available online. You can print one off and, uh, and make yourself some stuff. <laughs> that, that, that's amazing. That, that is amazing. Yeah, you know, back before I actually had the, the first working machine, I designed, um, I think, about 15 different things. Uh, there's a modular airplane that all snaps together, and you can build uh, a regular a straight wing craft, a biplane, uh, right. a few different or designs with it, mm -hmm. um, and an entire set of Catan and board game all the tiles. So if you mm -hmm. if you want to play with 3D parts, mm -hmm. you can place your tiles in your game and, and play. I've never actually printed it. I didn't really have any interest in printing it. I just wanted to learn how to model. Sure, 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 sure. But this is fast. It's fascinating, the, the lathe. You know, I've always wanted to... You know, I do a lot of projects, but usually I can do the electronics and I can do the software, but doing the physical part, producing the, the casing or the interface or the linkages or something like that, okay, I, I don't have a mill, I don't have a lathe, I don't have all these, you know, this equipment to do it, and I've always been a little bit hesitant to make that investment because, okay, I go, go buy a lathe or a mill, and we're talking about thousands of dollars, and I'm not sure that I can actually manufacture or make uh, what I want to make. But with this, you know, you can just prototype and... Uh, yeah, you know, obviously it's not a, an industrial or, or commercial machine. Mm -hmm. it's, it's to be treated as a hobby machine. Sure, um, sure, sure. But I've made the hot ends for the machine with it. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it, it works. Uh, huh? Yeah, it's, it's plastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it has the limited lifespan of most plastic things, but as I prefer to print in PLA, and it is actually compostable in a 50 degree C compost bin, right, so a standard right. house compost bin that's well maintained will actually break it down in a short period of time. Wow. And it can also be recycled way more than ABS. Uh, mm -hmm. The ABS off gas is about 5% of its volume, which really changes the properties mm -hmm. as you extrude it. Right. A PLA only is about a 1%. Yeah. So it can use a lot more. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can you can make your own replacement parts. You know, you know what's going to wear, and you you can make uh, two or three of the same parts because you know that's going to be the wear part. And uh, yeah, exactly. You know, that's the, the only problem with the gears that actually um, the carriage is driven by the by the motor, and yeah. you can release it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they'll wear out over some time, but. You always have an extra set or, or print a set as you need them. That is fascinating. Yeah. 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 So the only parts on that that you didn't print are uh, like the the base and then the chuck, uh, you know, some of the metal parts that... Uh... Well, this chuck is one that I collaborated on, basically. Mm -hmm. um, a gentleman named Mr. Longworth in Australia, mm -hmm. uh, who's no longer with us, originally designed it for woodworking, mm -hmm. uh, then somebody adopted it for printing and never actually printed it. I then designed it to actually have a quick release so you turn on the back <laughs> the release of it. Yeah. Um, and it, it's evolved from there. There's a couple different versions now. Uh, and it grips soft materials really, really well. Uh -huh. uh, the only problem with cutting metal is if you Try and go too hard. The metal gets hot, and the plastic starts to get soft. So you gotta use it as you would use a hobby lathe. I, I'm actually an experienced machinist, and that's how I kind of designed it. I, I actually knew what I was using as a okay. tool. Okay.